All right, NeoGAF lies again. I uh, just want to do a quick video exposing more NeoGAF Sony fanboy bullshit and lies to make Sony look better. I noticed this little thread on NeoGAF, and this guy, he says, a look at YouTube trailer views for E3 2017. And basically, he added up the views for various games. And, of course, being NeoGAF, a Sony game, Marvel Spider-Man PS4, came out number one, and he he lists some conditions, but he's, I'm not I'm confused how he exactly did it. But for one, he says trailers, mirrors below 100k are not included into the mix as of this snapshot, which I understand that. And then he says, when there are mirrors of the same trailer with significant view count, I will combine the view count of up to three of the same trailers, max. Like, I don't even know what that means. So he's saying, <coughs> he's saying he will only use three trailers. Uh, you know, because the thing is, any of these trailers can be uploaded at more than one spot. You know, you can have the Battlefront 2 trailer have many views on different channels. So I guess he's trying to say he will only combine the top three, which is kind of weird and arbitrary. And then here he says trailers, mirrors below 100k are not included. In the mix. So I'm not sure what, what what the hell that even means. I mean, I guess it means what he says. He just takes the top three, and then he also doesn't include anything below 100k. So like if the second place one is 150k views and the third place one is 90k views, he doesn't include the third place one. And if, but if the first place one is a million, the second place one is 500k, and the third place one is 500k, and the fourth place one is 400k, he only counts those top three, and the fourth place one with 400k views is just left out. It seems arbitrary, stupid. I'm pretty sure he did all this, of course, to make sure that Sony won, because I always, you know, have like radar. I know Sony NeoGAF bullshit. <coughs> and faggotry and I knew that they always make sure that whatever methodology they use a Sony game comes out on top <coughs> what do you know Marvel Spider-Man so right away I was like I don't believe this shit this guy just made it so a Sony game came out on top <coughs> let's take a real look and sure enough I quickly found out he's full of shit Battlefront 2 is more viewed than Spider-Man here's what I did <coughs> I went to YouTube and I looked. Oh, I did filters this week and then I filtered by views. You can see this is uh, this week so that it only got stuff from E3 because, you know, there's like if you just search Spider Man PS4 or something, you're going to get all kinds of crap. Or if you just search, say, Spider Man or if you just search Battlefront 2, you, you may get stuff from before E3 because I think there's a leak. Of, so to, to restrict it to E3, I made sure the filter said this week, see? <coughs> and also I, uh, so it's stuff uploaded this week, so it's from E3. And I also ordered it by, you can also order it in these filters. It doesn't show it, but you can order it by views. You can see how each one of these decreases in views. See, this one's got 498, this one's got 424, this one's got 321, this one's got, you know, it's, they go down by views straight through. <coughs> And I thought it was a decent idea that that guy had to use 100k views as the cutoff, just because after that you start getting all kinds of goofy crap, you know. So, you know, like, what is this Marvel Spider-Man trailer reaction, you know, that's whereas all these above it are actual gameplay. So, you know, look at his developer interviews, amazing Spider-Man live trailer. You know, fuck that shit, I, I cut it off 100,000, I kind of stole his idea because it seems good to cut off a lot of the junk. So the last trailer I would count would be this one. And well, what do you know? I added up all of these and I like I didn't I rounded to the nearest hundred thousand. So for this one I would say hundred and four K. For this one I'd say hundred and eleven K, you know. For this one I'd say a hundred and thirty one. I don't even remember if I rounded, I probably just took the first three. So I probably would just say hundred and thirty for this one. I don't even remember what I did. It shouldn't matter much. You're only you know, as long as you use the same method for it all counting of all the games you're not cheating anybody but so i added up all the spider-man trailers in the past week over 100k views which you can see there's quite a few here 100 247 so i had a lot of shit and i came up with this number about 14.5 million okay uh, 
And then I also did the same thing for Star Wars Battlefront. Same exact thing. I did filters. Now, and you can see what I searched, Battlefront 2 trailer. Now, there is one caveat, I guess, is that Battlefront 2 has both an official gameplay trailer and a multiplayer gameplay, but Spider-Man doesn't have multiplayer. At least they don't seem to be showing it, or, you know, I don't think it has multiplayer. You're not going to be playing Spidey versus Spidey or any shit. It's a single-player game. So it's not fair to, like, Battlefront is single-player and multiplayer. It's not fair to just go... I believe the NeoGAF guy is just saying, like, just the trailer, like the official gameplay trailer, and that's it. No, uh, you know, you can see on these Spider-Mans, I included all the different gameplay walkthroughs and, you know, different, all of them. You know, new details from the Spider-Man games, kind of crap. And, and the Battlefront, I just took the top Battlefront video, views, videos of, by views. So it doesn't... You know, you can't discriminate against Battlefront 2 just because they also had a multiplayer gameplay showing. Because it's also a multiplayer game and these people are still looking at Battlefront 2. You know, it's every video about Battlefront 2 ranked by views. Just like this is every video about Spider-Man 4 ranked by views. It's the fairest way to do it. And what do I find? You see, I added them all up. The You can do this yourself. But just trust me on the number. It came out to this for the, all the Spider-Man trailers over 100 KVs, about 14 and a half million. All the Battlefront trailers over 100 KVs. You quickly see that it. This is about let's see 8.3. You can just I'll, I'll kind of add them in my head as I go. This is like 10.5 roughly. You know, it's actually more, but. And then this is like 1.3 more, so uh, 11.8 right there. And then another let's say 100 K. So you're up to 12.6. This is another almost 600 grand. So you're up to 13.2. This is another 400 grand, roughly. So you're up to 13.6. Then this is another 340k. So you're up to 13.9. Let's just call it 300. 13.9. So another 300. You're up to 14.2. It's another 300. You're up to 14.5. So you're tied with Spider-Man. And you've still got a bunch of videos over 100k left. Another 280. This is the point right about here. You're tied with Spider-Man in views. You're at about 14.5 million. But you've still got many videos over 100k here. You've got this 182, 179, 175, 163, 154, 129. You've got probably another, I don't even know. Uh, where did I say the point was? I think it was here. You know, you've got probably another million views any, anyways. You know, it's not, it doesn't beat, uh, uh, you know, look at this. Here's another 300,000 just there. Four, you know. You got, the point is, you end up, like, with at least 15.5 million, maybe 16 million. Guess what? It beats fucking Spider-Man. Just like I knew it would before I went into this whole exercise. Like, I knew that fucking Gaff guy was making shit up. I wasn't making shit up. He's just going to make sure that a Sony game is number one. So he's going to use tweak his methodology to make sure that happens. And I knew it was bullshit. And I came and just did the simplest thing. You know, I didn't have all his little caveats, which I'm sure helped the PS4 game be number one. I just, you know, like I said, I explained my methodology, and you can replicate it. Although the numbers will be different if you don't do it today. <coughs> You know, I just searched Battlefront 2 trailer, filtered by this week, and then I filtered by view count. You can see it's bolded, doesn't put an X by it. But you can tell these are filtered by view count anyway because, uh, you know, you can just obviously see the decline in views. And then, uh, same thing here, Marvel's Spider-Man PS4, because that was the best, you know, it was hard to search because if you just search Spider-Man, you know, you might get stuff about a movie or something, and if you... This is what I settled on. Marvel Spider-Man PS4 seems to be the best search term. And then, uh, you know, I sorted it by the speaking view count same way. And here's what I got. And like I said, you can just add up everything over 100k views. You can see the Spider-Man does not have nearly the depth. It's stronger at the top. These top two get almost 11 million. But it only has, <coughs> let's count. It only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It only has fourteen trailers, 
14 videos over 100,000 views. Battlefront 2 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, has 19 trailers over 100 KVs. What did I say for Spider-Man? I can't remember if it was 14 or, or just 8 or something. Was it 8? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 14 versus 19. So Battlefront 2 had a lot more depth, you know, a lot more videos over 100K. It was a little weaker at the top. And so... Yeah, point and the point of, point is Gaff lied. Battlefront 2 has more views than Spider-Man. I didn't even look at any other games. I probably could easily enough, but uh, you know, I didn't compare. You know, what what was the third game according to this Gaff guy? God of War versus me. I bet you know you could do the same thing and find out Need for Speed Payback actually has more views than God of War, and that Super Mario Odyssey probably has more views than Days Gone. See, the f funny thing is, is uh, look how he notes channel EA Star Wars, he, and yet he puts multiple for each one of the Sony exclusives. Is that, yeah, is that a little fishy, maybe? Maybe maybe it's a little fishy? You know, give me a break, dude. He's counting multiple channels for these, but apparently only one channel for all these. What a surprise there. And he's not counting these huge multiplayer views you know this, this is the second highest battlefront video 2.249 million views on jack frags and he just ignores that because i don't know because reasons because sony's going to be number one and like i said it is kind of funny look every every sony exclusive he's counting multiple multiple channels every non-sony exclusive of the top ones anyway he's counting only the official channel trailer. See how he does that? Need for Speed, EA Star Wars, Nintendo. Yeah, I know. And he lied here too. Xbox One X World Premiere 4K trailer. Well, he may not have lied, but he's only listing 4.6 million views. Let's go to uh, YouTube here. Duplicate this tab. And let's search X. Box one X. Okay, so we can say trailer. Let's search this. Yeah, we can do. F I mean, we probably don't even have to filter it because there was no Xbox One X before this week. But you know, let's go ahead and sort it by view count. Oh, how can that? Oh, because it counts the Battlefront Two trailer somehow. And this, hmm, that doesn't make. That messed me up because <laughs> now it's counting a bunch of game trailers. Yeah, that doesn't count. But anyways, uh, we'll have to take off the view count. I guess we'll sort by relevance. Oh well, yeah, you're at 4.9, which he says you're at. He claims it at 4. Point, eh, it's about right. Okay, just has some more views today. Yeah, okay, he didn't lie too hard on that one, but, uh, but yeah, just to point out that he lied and that Battlefront 2 has more views than Spider-Man.